We're trying to figure out what's going on with the bumblebee population in this area in Boulder County because there's been a lot of news of declining pollinators. We recruit student research assistants in the summer and we tell them about the project, they get excited about you know, being part of this assessment, monitoring the different bumblebees um, around here, and they come out in the field with us. The first time I came out here, I was catching flies and honeybees and things that I was running up and being so excited. Look what I found, and they say, that's, that's a fly. <laughs> By the end of the summer, they're actually very good at looking at certainly some species of these bees and saying, oh, that is a Bombus nevidensis, or oh, that's a Bombus occidentalis. I'm learning something, but at the same time, I'm doing important work. We found um, occidentalis, which was a bumblebee we thought had gone extinct, and we found it in, in multiple plots. The first one was in our low elevation plot close to Wonderland Lake. One of our students netted this bee and uh, we, we couldn't really identify it immediately just by looking at it. The student who caught the bee suggested that this was a western bumblebee and he was, he was frankly poo-pooed. Um, we just you know, couldn't believe that. But we took one of the bees that we had found back to the lab and after really examining it um, under a microscope we realized, oh my god. Yes, indeed, we have a western bumblebee. We found one today, and the other day I think we found seven. We can speculate on the reasons why it was in decline, and we can speculate on reasons on why it's coming back, but um, given a world where it seems that there are so many species that are in trouble, the fact that this one seems to be making a comeback is really encouraging news. It's really cool. It's. It's like you're, you're giving back to the community. It's, it's finding something for uh, science. 